Hello, this is Sudhakar Maparte. Today we're going to see how a domain name is registered and how your web application or website will uh, go live. Okay, so you can use Route 53 service. Let me use a different color here. You can use Route 53, which is a DNA domain name system uh, service. You can use for registering a, a domain name. Okay, you want to you want to host a website, then you need a domain name. So that's your domain name, like skillbank.com. Okay, then. Uh, just I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I can use Amazon Route 53 to register my domain. So what happens when you register? Amazon is acting like a registrar, and the other registrar like GoDaddy, you can do. You can do it in number of registrars. You can register anywhere you want. Once you register, that registrar will make an entry. Will maintain that in a registry. Because they are able to sell, this registrar is authorized to sell those dot com, dot uh, net, and whatever the top level domains that they are authorized to sell. So they will make an entry in the registry, in their registry, and they also will send it to the public who is database. Okay, so that's how you know the registration happens. So after registration, registering then you will have a hosted zone in Amazon because of the Route 53, there will be a hosted zone will be created and those, there are entries for each uh, the, the record type. So you can put multiple records in this zone. So um, this is a hosted zone uh detail like let's and then i can put a record type ns name service and uh, record name is skillbank.com and then the value is uh, amazon has some uh, values which are because of which uh, uh, it can uh, resolve the name so basically it it maintains the IP address hosted for this domain, for this domain. If you're hosting an EC2 instance, it's skillbank.com, right? And uh, so the DNS service, Route 53, because of this entry, NS record, record type NS, name service, when you, when you access in your browser website, skillbank.com it gets resolved to an ip address using dns service of route route 53 and that entry because of this entry skillbank.com ns and the and this is where it will go and then uh, resolve the uh, name to an ip address once the IP address comes, then you know the traffic will be routed to that particular uh, to, to that particular uh, machine. Okay, so that's the A record. So skillbank.com. So again, you know this will have A record will have skillbank.com, and then that skillbank.com that value will be uh, will be whatever the instance i haven't drawn that instance but uh, here i just want to show that there are records that you want to maintain you want to maintain ns records and a records and then record name record type record value these are the three things which are important for the host name, hosted zone details. Okay. And uh, that's how 
you will start with the the launching you, you will you will you will launch a new website you register a domain name with a registrar and then you have a hosted zone and then in that hosted zone you can maintain these record types ns record and uh, a record and uh, for ns records automatically you know uh, it will put uh, if you register uh, if you register with amazon it will put in, uh, the, the entries and uh, and it starts resolving the skillbank.com so this is where the who is database you can query this is a public database as a registrar they will send it to here and they will also maintain the registry entry skillbank.com and this will be shared among other this this registry will be uh, replicated propagated around the world with the different different registrars so saying that skill bank that, that, that this registry will be all of these guys will have access to this registry domain registry you can say okay all right that's all so if you like uh, these kind of explanations using c1c2 diagrams please subscribe Thank you very much.